three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy, Nitsy, coming back with another bullseye I have a tutorial here today on the channel so i wanted to talk about how i like to use this plugin right here the ua176 a gem that i like to use in multiple ways one is how to get my vocals to cut through through the mix so beautifully and just be up front right just be in the forefront put that spotlight on the vocals how i also like to use this type of compressor here to have my vocals sound a little bit more fuller and brighter without using something like eq okay so let's go over this right away let's actually get to listening to a little bit of music if you guys do enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and drop more suggestions down below let's not waste no time let's go right now yeah hey hey yeah know that you don't ever bounce put your business make it bounce take a trip way out of town rocking all the zona down know that you don't ever bounce put your business make it bounce take a trip way out of town rocking all the zona down she go really bounce Numbers, yeah, he really make it count. I ain't seen the ass before. Heard him meet the word of mouth. I remember I was hustling, get a call and flip a pound. Little bitch with me in the woods. She with me through water route. Know that I ain't fucking around. Know that I ain't fucking around. Back when I ain't had no money, I remember I was down. I ain't have a lot of dough, but I had a lot of doubt. But I think my needs and pounds, you can never count them out. They say we the hottest coming. Okay, so we got the idea of the song here today. So let's go over a little bit about this brief history. Understanding those, those very, very first compressors. Those very first compressors like the Fairchild is one of those. Well, you know, the, there's another one which is like the RCA compressor. I think Acoustica Audio has an emulation of that one. So the very first compressors did not allow people to have too many options, such as, you know, variable attack and release. Generally, I think of things about like, uh, you know, the very new compressor family i think about something like the retro instruments the style level which people will consider as a one trick pony but it's very very beautiful for something like a human vocal singing vocal because that tube gives a lot of that warmth it's not a coincidence how a tube warms and it kind of has kind of like that 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 really like you know low mid type of a bump kind of like your heart think about the human heart you know if you put your hand on your heart it's warm and it also is what's the frequencies in your heart you know, it's not a goddamn coincidence why people love using uh, tube compressors on a human vocal to bring some of that life, some of that character, some of that that tangible E.T. You know, when E.T. was in the movie and his finger was just glowing a little bit and it was just that magic, that 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 sparkle. You know what I mean? That's what you can bring to your vocals if you use a compressor like this in a sense. OK, so luckily uh, I have never really seen like a good emulation. I think there is an emulation of the style level out there but i really don't like it but um a great alternative is the something like the 176 so originally bill putnam right who is the same man that made the 1176 who made the la2a the la3a he did make something like the 176 right so that was before he made the 1176 now the cool thing about the 176 you got it right here there's still like a they still make the hardware unit of it but it's pretty cool because now you see a couple of different features such as the variable ratio you know a variable attack release you know a sidechain filter i think this is like the brand newest newest version but yeah usually when it comes to something like this type of compressor the most important things is the input and the output the tube itself has a way of doing natural compression you know sometimes people would even just you know just let it run just let it run through not doing too much compression but just let the sound run through so it could get some of that good tube juiciness okay but let's look at how you know um uh, a plugin that I really like a lot is the 176. So I like I love to use this right to make my vocals become a little bit more upfront in the mix. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to use it. So yeah, you pretty much got everything here, like we said. This is not no coincidence why it's called the 176. This is the big bro, big bro, the OG to the 1176. Bill Putnam, he made a a a, a kind of like a real big stride because before that, the Fairchild didn't really let you dial in the settings like that, you know. The 1176 was a compressor that is similar to this you see the face plate they kind of like brothers they kind of look the same but they sound different they got two different parts so this one has tubes you know it's a very compressor right and 1176 that's it has a fet 
that has a fat circuitry in it so it moves a lot quicker but the tube is a little bit slower it's a little bit more rocking it's a little bit more body versus where 1176 a little more aggressive he's a little, little brother he gonna snap you even me he gonna crank he finna go but let's look at this really quickly i love to use this plugin and sometimes you know just putting it on the stock preset alone and letting the mix run through it is a, a little gem to help the vocal just get pushed forward so let's look at that yeah, I know that chair don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rockin' all designer down. Know that chair don't yeah. ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rockin' all designer down. She go really buy his numbers. Yeah, he really make it count. I ain't seen they ass before. Heard him meet the word of mouth. I remember I was hustling. Get a call and flip a pound. Your bitch swept me in the woods. She with me through water route. Know that I ain't fucking around. Know that I ain't fucking around. Bad when I ain't had no money. I remember I was down. So as soon as you hear me bringing out this plugin in and out, there's two variations, the 176 and the 175. You hear that like the high end starts to crunch a little bit better. You hear that the low mid has a little bit more body. You know, these these are the type of the things that tube compression will help you add, okay? So usually with something like this, I don't like to hit it too hard. You gotta understand the tempo of the music. Look at this top right corner, you see this? You see this right here? Usually when it comes to me selecting a compressor, I'm thinking about the tempo of the music. So you see like my tempo is like 164. So I don't wanna do too much compression on a compressor like this because the release time is generally slow it's like in 1176 where you know the fastest release is right here and the slowest release is right there just like 1176 backwards to how you think about it right but when you gotta pay attention to the compressors too you gotta pay attention to the tempo and the release time i'm gonna make the release time slow as hell and pay attention to how you losing energy you know, you're losing energy. The transitions through the words can't be heard as much. So that's something that's very important to understand when you're picking the compressor, the goddamn tempo of the music. Listen to the flow of the rapper. When I'm picking the compressor, I think about a couple different things. I think about the sound that I want to get. Do I want it to be a little bit more aggressive type of compression or bumping and grooving swag? You know, we vibing at the beach type of compression. Or, you know, you know, do I want to create more urgency or less sense of urgency? So let's look at that. Hey. Hey, yeah, I know that chair don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rockin' all the down. Know that chair don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rockin' all the down. She go really by his numbers. Yeah, he really make it count. I ain't seen they ass before. Heard him meet the word of mouth. I remember I was hustling. Get a call and flip a pound. Your bitch swept me in the woods. She with me through water route. Know that I ain't fucking around. Know that I ain't fucking around. Bad when I ain't had no money. I remember I was down. So that's what you need to understand about compression as well as an engineer. You know, that compressor, it kind of looked like it was falling off a cliff. Like it was on its last, last hinges. It was just holding on. It was clamping down. It was holding on for dear life with that slow ass release. So it's really about energy too. You pay attention to the language of the flow. You know, as an engineer, you can control the rapper's flow a little bit like that, Loki. You see how that slow ass release just made it feel like it was... It was tired. It just woke up in the morning. I don't really want to rap, but I'm at a studio right now. But when you had that fast release, it felt like, okay, told your check to make it bounce. Told your bitch to Like, you feel me? Now I really started to exaggerate the tone that the human being was giving to you. So that's how I see compression. I don't see it like, oh, let's tame the peaks. You see, you got to tame the peaks. Oh, you got to tame the peaks. You see how my peaks were tamed? Hell no. It don't got nothing to do with that shit, bruh. Okay, so after that, I love to use the 175 or, you know, this type of compression as a saturator you know to maybe lo-fi and grit things up so this is the same plugin but just a different variation of it you know so bill putnam you know he was uh, michael jackson's producer right which is bruce sweden he was the mentor for bruce sweden who was michael jackson's like main engineer and stuff like that so i always say like damn you know this bill this man bill putnam a gold low-key he got the la2a 1176 he done made uad like he just a goat like and he probably indirectly influenced michael jackson's music you feel me so he's really a goat and that's why this is one of uh, another one of his great but slept on inventions i feel like this 175 176 so 
I love to use something like this as a distortion box. So sometimes I might use one of my favorite plugins, which is Futz Box, because it gives me a little grit, a little texture to the ad libs. But I'm going to solo these ad libs uh, really quickly right now. I'm going to show you guys how, you know, you could have some really clean ad libs and just make them a little bit dirty, a little bit gritty. And sometimes that can help create separation inside of the mix, right? You have a clean lead vocal and then you have a dirty ad lib. And now people say, OK, well, this is like mild seasoning, but this is spicy habanero seasoning. That's two different flavors. So even though they're in the same pot, I can taste two different flavors. I can distinguish between them. So let's look at this real fast. All right. Yeah. 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 Hey. 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 Town. Yeah. yeah. Let go. Chico. Never heard him. Flip a pound. All the rounds. Round, fuck around. I was down, but I had a lot of down. Never. Down south, nigga. In the crowd. Somehow, round, round, fuck around. Hurt. Whoa. Whoa. So you, <laughs> so as you guys can see, so as you guys can see alone off of me just bringing that shit into the chain and putting it on high, which I guess this like drives it a little bit more into the circuitry or whatever. You, you start to hear that buzz a little bit. It starts to feel like a beehive. Them ad libs start to turn in, get a little bit of edge, a little bit of mmm, a little bit of that buzzing, a little bit of that vibrating. Like when somebody calling your phone and it's on silent, you hear that buzzing, you hear that shaking. It kind of alerts you that, yo, something is right there. It's just like how when your phone vibrating, you're like, yo, like who calling me? It's the same exact shit. You know, it's very simple but you you pay attention to that no compression you know you can turn off the attack right here and i think what like which 1176 is it is it like the rev uh it's one of the revs the blackface where you can do something just like that just turn it off even the purple audio mc77 you know people used to like to use 1176s to turn that bitch off and just let it run through and just get some of that good warmth in that harmonic distortion so cool that's a way that i love to use something like that and then the last thing I like to use it on parallel. So usually when I'm using my parallel compressors, I like to use a couple of them. But for the most part, I always think about it in a situation of tone. Like, yo, do I want my song to sound new or old? Do I want it to sound like it just came out the plastic, fresh, crispy, and sparkly right off the shelf? Or do I want it to kind of sound like it's throwback, but it's a nice little antique that I keep around the crib? You feel me? So I usually do use the CL1B on, on my parallel vocal, right? Because it gives a little bit of weight. It gives a little bit of brightness. Uh, so let's listen to how, you know, this idea in general just works using the tube compressor on parallel. Know that, yeah, I know that chair don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the designer down. Know that chair don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the designer down. She go really buy his numbers. Yeah, he really make it count. I ain't seen that ass before. Heard him meet the word of mouth. I remember I was hustling. Get a call and flip a pound. Your bitch with me in the woods. She with me through water route. Know that I ain't fucking around. Know that I ain't fucking around. Bad when I ain't had no money. I remember I was down. So that's something that something that's pretty cool that you can do with the CL1B. Just put it in on parallel. And parallel processing is good because it's very non-invasive. You know what I mean? Like, if you just want to add a little bit of salt and pepper without fucking up the whole pot of food, which is the mix, then maybe you might want to do a little parallel processing and, and you get to blend it into taste. Kind of like how when you throw in that little seasoning on that bit, you get to put it into taste. So, yeah, I, I much prefer to actually use the 176 for a trick like this because of the different ratios that I get. Yeah, I kind of like how the different ratios vary the bias current, like how hard it's hitting the tube. It gives me even more color than I could get from a CL1B, which is more modern and transparent. So let's look at this, you know. I'm, I might just mess around with the ratios real quick, too. Bounce, told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the designer down. Know that chair don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the designer down. She go really by his numbers. Yeah, he really make it count. I ain't seen that ass before. Heard him meet the word of mouth. I remember I was hustling. Get a call and flip a pound. Your bitch with me in the woods. She with me through water route. Know that I ain't fucking around. Know that I ain't fucking around. Back when I ain't had no money. I remember I was down. I ain't have a lot of dough. 
But I had a lot of doubt. One thing about this accounts, you could never count them. Yeah, know that shit don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the zone of down. Know that shit don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the zone of down. She go really buy his numbers. Yeah, he really make it count. I ain't seen they ass before. Heard him meet the word of mouth. I remember I was hustling. Get a call and flip a pound. Your bitch with me in the woods. She with me through all the route. Know that I ain't fucking around. Know that I ain't fucking around. Back when I ain't had no money. I remember I was down. Coming out from down, down. Know that shit don't ever bounce. Told your bitch to make it bounce. Take a trip way out of town. Rocking all the zone down. She go really by this number. So you can really, really, really use a trick like this to help make your vocal sound very sturdy, very present. Cause now you got this nice tube compression that's really just just holding the fort down. That's really serving as the concrete the concrete from the foundation of the vocal when you just blend that in how much floor do you want how much tile you want how much wood floor you want you know how much like density do you want at the bottom and you just keep that and that's usually good for a song where the beat is hitting hard as hell because you know sometimes the 808 just starts you know being a bully to the vocal and grabbing it and you know messing around with it but you can reinforce it you can put that bulletproof vest on that vocal if you use something like a tube compressor or any type of parallel compressor you know just in general you know what i mean but i like to use this one specifically because it gives me a brightness it gives me the boot it gives me the body you know it gives me the low end of the vocal you know what i have it without having to use boosting eq that sometimes you know when you use boosting eq now you boosting up the whole neighborhood now you boosting up more sibilance just because you boosted up more um top end on a shelf you bo now you're boosting up more rumble if you boost it up the bottom using EQ. So it's different alternative ways to get to the end game. So I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and drop more videos down below. More suggestions. All right. Appreciate y'all now. Peace.